Hi, I'm Dr. Marsha Young from UC Davis Department of Internal Medicine. Marsha, you published the article entitled The Present and Future Challenges of Wilson Disease, Diagnosis and Treatment. What main point or points would you like to convey to readers? I would like to convey to readers that Wilson disease should be considered and ruled out in any patient who is older than three years of age and presenting with unexplained liver disease of any level of severity. Please tell us what the challenges are in diagnosing Wilson disease. Wilson disease is rarely encountered with a clinical prevalence of only 1 in 30,000 patients. And it also has a very wide uh, variation in clinical presentation. Thus, we wanted to recap some of the diagnostic criteria as well as the current treatment options for this rare disease. What is the current approach to diagnosing Wilson disease? The diagnosis of Wilson disease hinges on a combination of clinical, biochemical, histological, and genetic findings. Detection of disease causing ATP7B gene variants in a person with clinical and biochemical features, which include low serum seroloplasmin, increased 24-hour urinary copper excretion, and increased hepatic copper concentration is confirmatory of the disease. Since the clinical presentation of Wilson disease is varied among those who are affected, and not everyone who has the ATP7B gene variants exhibit the clinical manifestations, the diagnostic process, as you can imagine, is often difficult. What is the role of liver biopsy in the diagnosis of Wilson disease? The liver biopsy with hepatic copper quantification and genetic testing can definitely provide important information to contribute to the diagnosis. And how do you anticipate the available treatment agents for Wilson disease changing over the next 10 years or so? Um, current treatments that have been used for years include the chelating agents, which are triantine and penicillamine, and the zinc salts. In the future, bisquoline tetrahydromolybdate could become the first-line agent for patients with predominantly neurological phenotypes of Wilson disease, as it has the ability to cross the blood-brain barrier. In animal models, gene therapies have shown to correct copper metabolism in the long term. However, the clinical usefulness of gene therapy in humans is still yet to be determined. The future is promising as we anticipate more personalized and tailored treatments for patients with Wilson disease.